In this lesson, we're going to learn how to deliver unguided bombs in the Continuously Computed Impact Point Mode, or CCIP. Unguided bombs of the SU-25T include the FAB-100, FAB-250, FAB-500, RBK cluster bombs, and beta penetration bombs. In this case, the FAB-100s and a couple of larger FAB-500s. Each of the FAB bombs has a high explosive warhead and the number in the name indicates the bomb's weight in kilograms. I currently have the lesson in active pause. The first thing I need you to do is select air to ground mode by pressing 7. Do this now. Note that the HUD has changed to remove most of the navigation information and replace it with bombing symbology. We'll talk more about this soon. You can switch your weapons by pressing D. Try this now. When you cycle a weapon, take a look at the weapon status panel in the bottom center of the front dash. It's the black panel with the shape of a wing along the top. There are two rows of lights below it. The top row of yellow lights indicates the weapon stations that have weapons attached to them. And the lower row of green lights indicates weapon stations that are loaded with the currently selected weapon type. In the top right corner of the panel, a B symbol is displayed. This indicates that the selected weapon type is a bomb. You can also see the symbol in the lower right corner of the HUD. By pressing left control and spacebar, you can set the ripple quantity, meaning how many bombs are released when you press and hold the weapon release button or trigger. Try this now. As you cycle ripple quantity, take a look at the weapon control panel in the lower left portion of the front dash. On the panel are two knobs. The right knob has positions for X1, X2, X4, and BCE. The position of the knob determines how many bombs will be released, as singles, in pairs, four at a time, or all at once. You can set the release interval by pressing V. This determines the time between each bomb release. Longer intervals result in greater spacing between bomb impacts. You can view the setting by looking at the position of the left knob on the weapon control panel. The knob has positions for 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0.4 seconds. The last position indicates salvo mode in which all weapons are released simultaneously. Give this a try. Press V to cycle the release interval. Those are the basics of configuring your settings for bomb release. Now let's learn how to put those bombs on target in CCIP mode. Using what you learned in the navigation lessons, fly through all the gates ahead. Press the space bar to unpause the lesson. If you are not already, press 7 to enter air to ground mode. On the HUD, you can see a pipper with a dot in the center. This is your bombing reticle and will use it to aim your bombs. When you're within valid bomb release parameters, indicated by the launch authorization queue on the HUD, the bombs will impact where the bombing reticle pipper is at time of weapon release. Along the left side of the HUD is the range scale bar and carrot that indicates the bomb fall range. In the bottom left corner of the HUD, IP ground is indicated, meaning visual bombing mode is selected. The B in the bottom right corner of the HUD indicates you have bomb selected. Ahead and below your nose is a set of trucks marked with red smoke. This will be your aim point. When you fly to the next gate, quickly begin a dive onto the target. Dive now to an angle of 50 to 60 degrees as indicated on the HUD pitch scale. Maneuver the aircraft to place the bombing reticle paper over the targets marked with the red smoke. When a line is drawn from the top of the bombing reticle and an LA appears at the bottom of the HUD, release your bombs by pressing the spacebar. Control your airspeed by reducing throttle and pressing B to deploy your air brakes. Nice job, you hit the target. Back to the additional targets mark green smoke to practice on. You can continue to practice, or you can end the lesson now by pressing the escape key.